Hi everybody, my name is Robert Mueller Albrecht and I am a software product marketing engineer at Intel. In this video, I would like to show you how to debug MPI programs using the Intel distribution for GDB. An MPI program is an application that uses a message passing interface, MPI library, to launch multiple instances of our application in a distributed multi-node computing environment. To run the MPI application, we use the Intel One MPI Base Toolkit and HPC Toolkit. And for debugging, we use the Intel distribution of GDB package GDB One MPI, which comes with the base kit. For this demo, we use a very basic circle application. In the main function, first we call MPI init, and then offload code to a GPU. It all starts when we launch the MPI application. In this example, we ask the Intel MPI library API to create two instances of our application. So there will be two processes and we want to debug them both. We use gtool to launch the debuggers. Here we tell it that we want to launch GDB1 API and we want to attach on all the instances. In this example, we will launch two of these instances. So there will be two debuggers, one for each instance. Our interface to these debuggers is MPI GDB. And as soon as we tell MPI to start our application, we start seeing traces from. These traces tell and track how debuggers are launched and attached to their processes. Then we see the MPI GDB prompt. Now the debuggers are attached and are waiting for our commands. We were stopped in MPI init. So we use backtrace to see that the main function is at frame 13. We want to do debugging in there, so we change to that frame. Note the numbers before the MPI GDB prompt. They tell which processes we are communicating with. Currently, we are communicating with both of those two processes. We can use command Z to select processes with which to communicate. We say Z0, and now we have selected the debugger that is attached to the process 0. The code that we will offload is in lines 41 to 44 of our code, so let's set a breakpoint at line 42. This breakpoint is only for the process 0. Then we switch over to the other process, and there we set a breakpoint at line 43. So now both processes have a breakpoint in code that will offload but on different lines. Then we activate both processes and say continue. Our application runs, offloads to the GPU, and both processes will hit their respective breakpoints. And as we expected, they hit different lines. We can use normal GDB commands to do our debugging, like for example, to print the local variables. In this demo, however, we do not do any further debugging. Instead, we just remove the breakpoints on both processes and let them run until exit. And once we're done, we can then quit the debuggers. You can find more information about debugging MPI programs at this collection of GDB tutorials. There we have links to documents describing all the command line arguments and environment variables needed to launch debug sessions. The page describes the use of gtool, but also other methods to debug MPI programs and it goes through how to set up a debug session in multi-host environments. You can use that page as a reference when preparing your first debug session for your MPI program. So, this is how we can debug MPI programs. We used gtool to launch MPI GDB, and MPI GDB is our interface to the two debuggers which were attached to instances of our application. It's all very simple. You only need the Intel One API Base Toolkit and the HPC Toolkit. Thank you for watching this video. Looking forward to talking with you again next time. Goodbye.